I'm glad that James Wan is still involved in the film industry today because if we didn't, horror films would be struggling a lot. So Conjuring is directed by James Wan and it's starring Patrick Wilson, Vera Farmiga, Lily Taylor, Ron Livingston, and it tells the story of a family that's living in a new house, they're moving there, and there's paranormal activity that's happening and they're not really exactly sure what to do, so they find the Warrens. And the, the Warrens, they're like these paranormal investigators that like basically hunt ghosts and they know what to do with ghosts are around. And a cool thing that I didn't know about this movie was that the Warrens, like the actual Warrens in real life, and their house in this movie was in Monroe, Connecticut. And I'm in Connecticut and I, I had absolutely no clue about that. I just found that really interesting. Uh, truthfully, I didn't know much going into this movie at all. I didn't see any of the trailers, but for the people that did see the trailers, I heard they were unsatisfied with what happened because a lot of the stuff that were in the trailers it was like directly pulled into this movie and people were kind of unhappy in it. They were able to guess like a lot of the stuff that was going to be in it and what was going to happen and I heard like it was pretty predictable but I'm glad I didn't see any of the trailers so if you guys are interested in seeing this movie don't watch trailers because be like me and you should be pretty satisfied with what you see. So horror movies, they're not really, you know, holding up to the hype, holding up to what people are expecting from them. They're basically a lot of cliches, you know, um, jump scares, y you know what's going to happen throughout the whole movie, bad acting and so on. I can just make a big list of what's wrong with horror movies today. And not even only with like solo like horror movies, horror franchises, they're not where we, us people want us to be at, like at all like franchises i mean think about it we have what the insidious we have the conjuring universe we have the purge universe and purge i mean it gets a little silly and i mean what is there sinister sinister is i mean pretty good but really the conjuring universe and the insidious universe was directed by james wan so i mean <laughs> so what james wan does well with is he, he kind of, you know, breaks you from the inside out. He gives you a lot of suspense. He makes you scared. He gives you a lot of tension inside you. And you're like, with Insidious and this movie, The Conjuring, you feel like that you're on your edge of your seat the whole time. And you can't take away your eyes from the screen because you're just so engaged. And we had Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga, or the paranormal investigators, and they did a fantastic job. You know, I love Vera Farmiga. I seen her in Orphan. Um, I watched her in the Bates Motel. She was awesome. She, she she's one of like the she kind of underrated. And Patrick Wilson, he was in Insidious, and now he's in this movie. And James Wan directed both of them. So I mean, I would imagine he was like, you know what, wanna come and con conjuring with me, and that was a great decision by whoever had him as a casting choice and. Patrick Wilson, he is so believable, man. <laughs> and now the two parents of the family of the house that they're moving into, we have Lily Taylor. Oh my God, she she does awesome. I'm, I don't wanna spoil it away, but the way her character is involved with her family and the issues going on with her house and what happens to her family it's, oh my god, it's, it gives you goosebumps. Now, a big complaint, though, for me was the dad. The dad was Ron Livingston, and this was not his fault by any means, but his character was so underdeveloped. I mean, the mom has such a big role, the investigators have such bigger roles, and the dad's just, like, sitting there, like, getting told what to do. I mean, if I was the father and the stuff that was happening, like, in the world that he's living in. I'm like, you know, I would stand up and do more. I mean, that's not his fault by any means. And the kid actors too, they also blew me away. I wasn't really expecting to, you know, have them give the performance that they did. They were totally believable as well. And the pacing was kind of slow at first, like the first act, I was just waiting to get engaged with the story. But when it picked up with the second and third act, 
I was like, man, this is awesome. I was a fan of the cinematography in this. When they're showing like, you know, a monster or a paranormal ghost or something, it's not just like they turn around the corner and there it is. It's, you know, the, the presence that they're brought in with, it works out really good. I was very satisfied with this movie and I'm gonna give this movie an A minus. I really hope James Wan stays around with the Conjuring universe and directs more horror films in the future. He's one of the best that's still around. And I'm going to try to review the uh, first Annabelle movie and The Conjuring 2 before Annabelle creation. And I, cause I wanna try to review them to bring you guys into The Conjuring universe, just how cool it is. And uh, yeah guys, that is going to conclude my review about The Conjuring. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that way you can see me next time. Thanks for watching.